Can you guys hear me now? Oh, interesting. You guys can hear me now? Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the idea he's ordering tacos. Yeah, I was just ordering some tacos. <laughs> uh, we all struggle sometimes, guys. We all struggle sometimes. Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Sublox. Welcome to Murderous Muses. I had I had the mic outputting on a different, um, a different channel. I thought that when you streamed, it collapsed all the channels. But it doesn't matter. On OBS, it's technical things. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the latest game by Deveki Studios, who um, developed Doctor Decker. Uh, the Shapeshifting Detective Poem in Row, which I played on the channel. I'd like to thank them for giving me a copy of the game. You can find it on Steam. Uh, there's a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. They make awesome FMV mystery games. It's working now. Yes. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably edit that out for the uh, for the video. Um, I could do that. I think. Should we get started? It feels like it's been a while since I've streamed. I'm feeling a little. A little rusty. Hopefully the game is loud enough. Let me know if there's any issues, anything at all. If the game's too dark, the sound's too low, you don't like me, don't... Actually, don't let me know that. I know you love me. Let's go. I have a notebook. Wait, the game might be too loud. You're on your own tonight. The gallery can get a bit creepy. It's old. Things rattle. Just do a circuit every now and then and head back to reception when you're tired. If anyone tries to break in, call me. Or the police. Actually, police and then me. But you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Have a good night. Merle Haven's Unsolved Mysteries. The Murder of Mordecai Gray. <laughs> Welcome to Merle Haven's Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight, we'll be trying to solve the murder of Merle Haven's most famous artist, Mordecai Gray, brutally murdered in his loft last year on the night of All Hallows' Eve. Gray had been painting six portraits at the time. They were all suspects, according to Justice Hoon, but Hoon was unable to convict any of them. Could there still be a killer on the loose? Was it Dominic Serum, the lush burlesque dancer? Or Otto Pipistrel, our now famously cancelled ventriloquist? Otto Pipistrel. Or perhaps Lilith Rendell? Ah, the it's my favorite actress! Gray was also painting Sunday Finch, our twinless tennis star, Xavier Hahn, the reclusive clockmaker, and finally, Vice Justice Catherine Myers. Perhaps Justice Hoon was covering up for his understudy. We have all the juicy details coming up, but before we discuss those murderous muses, let's delve into the mind of a killer by retracing their footsteps on that fateful day. I think this is the first game I've played of theirs that has like an actual 3D element to it. Okay. Day one. First thing I noticed. Um... Subtitles could be a big bit bigger, eh? Whoa, okay. That and then I need to turn down the uh camera sensitivity a bit there. Hey! Please can you open the crates and hang Gray's paintings for me? There should be six arriving each day. Please try to match them up correctly with the plaques I've put up. 
When you've done, turn on the security monitor to start your shift. Thank you, Sasha. A note. A note with curiously uniform handwriting. <laughs> because it's the font typed on it. Because it's typed up on a computer. <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, okay. So this lets us, I guess, lets us examine the note. That closes it. Hang paintings for Sasha. Ooh, I like that style. Damn, this should be a VR game. Welcome to Gallery Argenta. I'm Jamie, your jovial art museum information educator. Push my buttons and see how I respond. Okay. Press I to open inventory. Raise law number one. A person standing next to a blue station wagon without a head. There's a barcode. Someone scan that. Someone scan it. Oh, use your phone. Inventory. Okay. I broke it. Whoops! I've been playing too much Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. Oh, he could sit. The Last Auk. Staff only. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to turn this down one more time. Slow as it goes. The future. Gray's Law number eight. A nature scene depicting a clock in a tree surrounded by butterflies. Go and scan the barcode. Wait. Oh. The future. I'll leave that there, because it could be the... This arresting dreamscape was the second painting in Gray's dream period. Mordecai never revealed what the painting was supposed to represent, and only spoke about it in one rare interview, where he claimed that he could still hear that infernal tick, tick, tick. Controversially, some people say they can see pagan imagery in the piece. So that's supposed to go there, sounds like. How's the game looking for you guys? Is it too dark? It seems pretty dark for me. Staff hole. Can I crouch? The lighthouse. Moody ambiance. So you're happy with the way it looks? Gray's Lord number nine. A slab of meat being carved into pieces. Flock of starlings. One surprising fact in Merlehaven's natural history is the dramatic increase in starlings populating the island. Numbers of these iridescent birds have massively declined on the UK mainland. Yet, Merlehaven seems to attract more and more every day, leading to several spectacular and prophetic murmurations. I think I want it to be a bit brighter, too. I'm with you. Brightness. What magic power does the island hold over these birds? Is that just like... Okay, I was like, is that literally just a cloud texture <laughs> on the window? Her. Color me intrigued. The. Okay, hold on. Let me check the controls. Okay. Sprint, left, shift, left click, inventory, mouse. Oh, mouse wheel, too. Full screen video spacebar. Okay, there's no crouch or anything. During an excavation of the Henge in 2011, What's the a hive of secret passageways and rooms wait, wait. was found, Stonehenge? running all the way to the Aurora Woods and beyond. 
This giant crystal ball is one of the few artifacts recovered during the dig, and due to the ban on all paraphernalia of divination, is now safely homed at Gallery Argenta. You think you're talking Don't about Stonehenge? Don't try anything in it. That would be illegal. I think we're going to have to see something in it. Tornado del Luna. No, I don't think it's any of those. Maddie's Farm. Generally recognized as one of Mordecai Gray's more whimsical pieces. Oh, it's any prehistoric monument. It's in a Marie's circle. Farm okay. In 1975, when farmer Marie Abernathy claimed she woke up to find all her chickens were levitating, as if lifted by an invisible hand. Unsurprisingly, Marie's story was met with ridicule, with some blaming it on the work of a poultry geist, while others called for an exorcist. Can I quit the game now? The docks. I'm going to turn it up, turn out the brightness even more. We're getting it. We're getting it set. The undulating hills. The horseman? No. Aurora Woods. Revenge. Maybe? Maybe this one? Auk Fair. Savior's Bell. Savior's Bell was originally sounded to warn islanders of trouble at sea, but its ringing soon became synonymous with drownings instead. Gray's painting depicts Savior's Bell in action at Merlehaven Docks, but it was dismantled in 1975 when it was acquired by Gallery Argenta. Despite its removal, some say they can still hear its doleful chimes on stormy nights. I love it so far. Chalk cellar. Okay. What's that? What's that? The triumvirate. I thought maybe that would be like a secret. The triumvirate were elected by the first settlers to help shape Merlehaven's future. The judge upholds the rule of law. Yeah. The mayor oversees policy making, and the mage shelters all citizens together under one spiritual umbrella, regardless of their beliefs. Ah, uh, creepy druidic stuff. Love it. Deserted place of worship. They said we get six paintings every day. Oh, Henge, there we go. The hunt. Native to Merle Haven, the wild boar is generally harmless, though sometimes still hunted for sport. Good, it's a frowned upon activity that the triumvirate continuously consider banning, and Gray was against the hunt too. His painting aimed to bring more eyes onto their plight. Majesty? During the freak fish storm of 1976, the first mayor of Merle Haven was hit on the head by Majesty, breaking his neck and ending his reign for good. <laughs> Some scholars believe the fish storm was caused by a Concorde flight from England, whilst others point to a more sinister ceremony near the Henge. Pretty good shape. By the way, Mayor Spens sleeps with the fishes now. Pretty good shape. I guess it's like preserved. Abernathy's Bluff. Merlehaven Mines. The Loop. Merlehaven Chapel, okay. I think we found our first... Yeah, so if it's right, it looks like we get a, a, a button. Merlehaven welcomes people of all religions, and today, Merlehaven Chapel is at the heart of the community, hosting weddings, burials, and ceremonies that mark the quarter and cross-quarter moons. Mordecai frequented the chapel as a child, up until his mother died. Well, it's it's not just a collection of oddities. It's also uh, the works of Mordecai, right? And stuff um, related to Mordecai. Butcher of Merlehaven. A 
staple of popular folklore, the so-called Butcher of Merle Haven was the villain of many tales of missing pets, vanished children, and cannibalism. The island's modern-day butcher, however, takes a more cosmopolitan approach, and has recently begun working with a lab that offers synthesized meat. What do you guys think about synthesized meat? So we just have um, this one. A person standing next to a blue station wagon without a head. So where do you think this goes, guys? Without a head. I think it's the Hearst. Feel free to, uh, oh. The, the Hearstman? Yeah. Steve Stewart famously transported the dead in the a Hearstman. distinctive blue station wagon. I was thinking that too. A car accident in 1992 robbed him of his life and his head. Since then, several sightings of a decapitated man driving a blue car. Aislinn's red hair. How do you pronounce it? Is it Aislinn? The legend of the headless Hearstman. The headless Hearstman. <laughs> Blecko can't even bother to spell her name correctly. Okay, so I we we've been everywhere, right? Did I miss a box? Oh, we haven't gotten this this way yet. You like the puns, Fanny? Yeah. Grayzler number 16. A solitary figure standing on the road that circles the island. Oh, that's probably the loop. Oh, I'm sorry, Blacko. Yeah, if you guys, I would highly recommend if you're thinking about playing this game, do not watch. I know that's not something a streamer should say. Do not watch, just play it yourself. Oh, Lighthouse is really good, yeah. I watched uh, The Witch, which is the movie that that director made before, and I, I didn't like it as much. The Lighthouse and... What was the, the, the Norse one, The Norseman? Those are really good. The loop depicts the main road encircling Merle Haven that runs around the island and back again in the shape of a Mobius strip. Gray said that if you stand still for long enough on the loop, you'll meet everyone on the island. Oh yeah, the Vich. The Vich. Okay. The Great Auk. Okay. I don't want to hear that again. Number 10, a merry-go-round spattered with silhouettes. Dominique. Oh, here we go. Better known as her alter ego, Miss Moonstruck, Their first talented portrait. dancer Dominique Serrant regularly performs her bewitching blend of ballet and burlesque at the Moonstruck Lounge. At one time set for stardom on the West End stage, Dominique's path took an unexpected turn due to a tragic death in the family, but London's loss soon became Merle Haven's gain. I thought maybe we'd, we'd be chatting with her. There she is! Lilith! Aislinn. As the last remaining funeral director on the island, Lilith Rendell ferries Merle Haven's souls to their final destination. Angel to the bereaved, she comforts those left behind, whilst pioneering carbon-neutral cremations and burials using compostable coffins. What about the 
people. The gener There's the key. Okay. Yeah, this is an FMV game. We're going to be talking to these people because um, the artist that was murdered made portraits of all these people. Otto and Pip are Merlehaven's most Pip -pip. famous comedy duo, having secured Best Comedic Performance for three years running at the prestigious Golden Orc Awards. Pip also has his own solo career, which includes a best-selling children's book and a cartoon series based on the Pip is Hip universe. Yikes. Well, let's get this on. A mysterious woman. This is the bell. Okay. Professor Catherine Myers is Merlehaven's current Vice Justice, serving under Justice Hoon, and is directly responsible for maintaining criminal laws and rehabilitating offenders. She's also the mastermind behind Merlehaven Manor, the island's only penitentiary, allowing offenders to rehabilitate closer to home instead of being sent overseas. I appreciate the game taking time to establish a mood and like and the characters and a setting. Sunday and Monday, Merlehaven's most remarkable twins were already well known as the miracle test tube daughters of geneticists Goddard and Constance Finch. But they found fame in their own right on the tennis court, quickly becoming the world's youngest and most memorable doubles champions. <laughs> This is like, this reminds me of, um, a Wes Anderson set of characters. Perfectionist surgeon turned clockmaker Xavier Hahn is Merlehaven's most in-demand artisan. He took a small hiatus when his mother died last year, and more recently after divorcing his wife Caroline. But his reclusiveness and rare output has made him more in demand than ever. Is that Monroe? What one of these two? I was thinking this might be Monroe from Poe and Monroe. But we'll see. Okay. So what do we have? We've got the key and we've got this serious woman and merry-go-round. But I want to use the key. Oh. Oh, I, I think... Wasn't she in one of the other games? This little girl? What's that? Oh, is this supposed to be a reference to the uh, shape-shifting detective? Like, arrow cards? Morph girl. Oh. Paul and Monroe. <laughs> there we go. On VHS. Oh, uh, that was a fun game. I can't destroy these ones. Creepy octopus squid. What happens at Gallery Argenta stays at Gallery Argenta. Please do not take works of art home, Sasha. Okay. Guess we have to place the rest. The lighthouse. We didn't have a lighthouse, right? No. Her. This seems like it could be her. Yes. No one knows who she is, but rumors abound. Mordecai's first love, his first wife, an ancestor. Oh yeah, Morph Girl's an FMV game, that's right. Endearingly nicknamed the Mordecai Lisa, 
Some say she bears a striking resemblance to his mother. So one last one, the merry-go-round docks. Island, chalk cellars, the fair, maybe? Hang paintings complete. On the 16th of April, 1953, the crew of a fishing trawler first discovered Merlehaven Island. This day would come to be known as Merlehaven Day, the island's birthday, and every year it's celebrated with the arrival of the Orc Fair. I think we finished the game, guys. That was day one, right? Wake up. Wake up. Oh, wake up. Night one begins. How was Morph Girl? Painting of a key. Huh? Oh. I of Mordecai. This is cool. I didn't I didn't realize it was going to be like like a mist kind of an undulating marble that seems powerful. Restore. Do I have to I guess I have to find more of these? I'll take this with me, I think. Oh. Yes. Oh, that, and that unlocked the door? Oh, it gave me the key. A key that gives a slight hum when you listen to it. Yes. <laughs> the one thing I appreciate about Tobeki Studio Games is uh, they have a, a good sense of humor. You're playing a video game. It's not the biggest budget game in the world, um, but it's their games are so charming and so much fun to play. Oh, I, I can use the key, right? Like, wait a second. Art block achievement. The monitor interception appears to be the gateway between here and there. Must be careful not to activate it before I'm ready to leave. H. <laughs> For those of you that were here at the start, I love how it says, a note with curiously uniform handwriting. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess... Oh, night one, what? I'm Higgins, and I stopped questioning why or how this place existed a long time ago. I've updated the recordings with the truth for your listening pleasure.
Finch Twin Painting. Painting of the Tennis Pro Finch Twins, Sunday and Monday. Dominique. Okay. You see them too, don't you? Telephone caller ID. It was a cold and frosty morning on the 31st of October when Gray received a solitary telephone call that police traced back to a public phone box in the theater district. The call lasted for 44 seconds and appeared to be from one of Gray's portrait subjects. Do I need to write this down? During the forensic sweep of his loft that night, police found a note in Gray's handwriting that read, Unhappy. Destroyed portrait. Meet at lockup. 4 p.m. Why do they think the killer made the call? Because it gave them the opportunity to enter Mordecai's loft when they knew he would be absent, concealing themselves, waiting for their prey to return. Hmm. Okay, so you guys noted that. What? Okay, okay. Hold on, I'm not done in this, in this place. This, oh, it's like the eye. It's changed. From what I can tell, the catacombs under the henge catacombs. served as a safe place for the witches of Merlehaven for years. The excavation in 2011 was paid for by the Argenta family. I suppose they'd moved their stuff out by then. Right, all of these are updated with the truth. Guess we listen to them again. Most of Mordecai's dream works were created autonomously, channeling the will and the way of the heart of Merlehaven itself. Art critic achievement. The future is a message to the rest of the planet. Showing a clock ticking in Mother Nature, superimposed with the rituals of humanity, depicted as a pentagram. It's a prediction of death by climate change. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, what about this one? I'm really intrigued by this. See how her mysterious eyes follow you around the room? I know her name, and I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I thought you were going to tell me the truth. Starlings are Earth's spiritual guardians that often migrate to places where immense evil... Oh yeah, so in the guest, 11th hour. In Merlehaven's case, they're gathering on the very creature that rose out of the ocean almost 70 years ago. What do they know that we don't? Steve Stewart was a wheeler dealer who'd take on any job. Stuffing bodies into the back of his car was just the one he was most well known for. He was actually murdered by the Johnsons. They wanted to take over his business. So they beheaded him and made it look like an accident. No wonder his spirit's still driving around the island. Beheading is hard to make look like an accident like the triumvirate were three swindling fishermen who were so bad at sailing they got completely lost and ended up <laughs> on Merlehaven their crew didn't have a say in whether they'd be elected or not but they'd soon drawn up rules to ensure themselves of all the spoils and power there are some Checks and balances built in, though, as you can't have a three way autocracy. Mm. 
Sadia's bell still gets rung by the unhappy spirits of Merlehaven. Mostly witches who were drowned by the Triumvirate in the <laughs> Aurora Trials. Okay. Mayor Spens ordered the bell to be destroyed, and the Triumvirate passed a law banning the paraphernalia of divination. They'd hoped to cover up their sins by severing all ties with the spirit world. Didn't work, did it? The drunken pirates that founded Merlehaven didn't even know what sea they were sailing in, let alone day of the week. According to geologists, they fairly accurately concluded Merlehaven's actual birthday is the 1st of February. Or the 28th of November, or the 9th of December. It's definitely one of those three. Oh, by the way, um, the killer is randomized. Although we haven't even spoken to any of the people in the portrait yet. It's uh, like Dr. Decker where the killers randomize. But you can input a seed. So you can play through um, specific versions of the game. It was actually Angel Abernathy, Marie's daughter, that caused all those chickens to levitate. Marie knew that too, because Angel had been trying to cast a scrying spell to find her lost Basset Hound, but she accidentally summoned a rather grumpy spirit instead. This wouldn't have been a problem had there not been so many witnesses, along with the Triumvirate having just criminalized all forms of divination. By the way, uh, I am looking at a notepad when I'm looking down or I'm looking at chat over here. Had someone come on to uh, one of my immortality streams and they were saying that I was looking at my phone throughout the entire stream. And I was like, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I was looking at chat and I was like, I'm writing notes on a notepad. People. Every year on the night before can be really dumb sometimes. The Triumvirate organizes a secret boar hunt as a peace tribute to the incoming wave of spirits. They will never ban boar hunting unless it looks like they might run out of boars. Okay, working our way through here. The loop. Our drunken crab fishing forefathers couldn't build a road in a straight line, hence the loop. <laughs> I like that. Nice to the point. They ate Majesty, you know. After saving Merlehaven from Mayor Spens, Majesty was spit roasted by the Argenta family. So what's this? Over a campfire at the Henge. Doesn't say that in the brochure, does it? Merlehaven is a godless place with a religion that tries to please all faiths, adopting pieces it fancies from all of them. Ironically, the chapel wasn't very welcoming at all and was the site of hundreds of ritual executions that included anyone accused of witchcraft and anyone that spoke out against Mage Scrivener at the time. The Butcher of Merlehaven has always been one of the most respected inhabitants, with that title being passed down generationally and still unsullied. The current owners are the Milgrims, and their family crest motto is Eat the Rich, which sounds pretty fair, considering the state of the world today. Okay. From what I can tell, the oh, we already listened to that one. under the henge. The catacombs. Okay. Okay. Wait. Should I? I'm not clicking on that one. Should I click on that one? Because it says. Yeah, I think that ends the day. I don't think we want to click on that one in particular. I was concerned about clicking on this one because I thought it would end something. Mordecai. Merlehaven, Desire, Theater. 
gallery. What? What? It was me? Hey, Mark. Am I supposed to put Dominique at, on the theater? I guess it makes sense. Probably opens the next path or something. Lilith negligent fans Merlehaven. Sunday Sunday is Merlehaven number one though. Auto is gallery. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but. Professor Meyer's desire. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, oh, I don't even have her. I don't know how deep this goes exactly, Ren. Is there more paintings over here? There's a telephone booth. Fame. Huh? Okay. Where's uh, Aislinn? Oh, they're separated. No, no, no. Oh, there she is. Is that, is that her? I don't think so. She's wearing something different. So who's left? Savior, or fame, passion, Mordecai. Let me just have Lilith, but Lilith isn't here, right? Maybe we recycle Lilith? What happens if we recycle? Let's recycle. I think I'm missing one. I'm missing a painting. Wait, that has one, two, th What is happening? <laughs> what is 
is this? I left Professor Myers in reception. It's the Becky! Thank you, you're right. Thank you so much for uh, hooking me up with a copy of this game. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous now. Professor Myers. One, two, three, four, six. Desire. I love these games. I've played all of your games. They're great. Okay. Oh, Lilith. Yeah, that, that is Lilith. Okay, she's just wearing something different. Negligent. Oh! Johnsons went out of business because they kept losing bits of their dead. Body parts, organs, all just going missing. Oh. I don't think their heart was in it. Oh, it's like little snippets. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me listen to that again. Johnsons went out of business because they kept losing bits of their dead. Body parts, organs, all just going missing. I don't think their heart was in it. Guilty! I already know who the killer is. I have a famous clock. Oh. I made it for the Neptunian Theatre Company. It was a grandfather clock you could fit a body into that then magically disappeared, as if teleported through time. Hmm. Nancy. Poor Nancy. Did you see there? One, two, five. One, two, three. Now, if I pick... Ah, I see. This is the order that we get to experience the the videos in. Fans is here though. It's also here. Jenna owns Marigolds in the theater district. She does the best flowers. We're both dressing up for Halloween. She's gonna be a sunflower, and I'm thinking maybe a zombie <laughs> or a cheerleader. See, fans is highlighted. Okay, and now it's Mordecai. But also, Mordecai's over here. And there's cheerleader. So can wait. Hold on. What happens if I do this? Mordecai is toying with you. This isn't his memory. As if I'd dress like a cheerleader. Huh. So, okay, it just, like... I'm thinking about Dr. Decker and how that worked, where you would type in, like, keywords, right? This is almost like picking the keyword of what you want to follow up on. What if, what if I do this, though? You're talking about the Johnsons, right? Oh, no, I think I used that. I'm using up the pips. They accused me of messing with their mortuary to cover up for their own negligence. As after mum and dad died. Okay, can I still do Merlehaven? No, Mordecai. Interesting. Okay. 
Okay. So I might bring up Merlehaven again. Let's try though. Okay. I can't because there's no there's no pips. No eyes. We're seeing into the memories, I guess. Store. Okay. See, there's one, two, three, four, five. So I could probably put this into five different spots. I have a famous clock. I made it for the Neptunian Theater. Oh, we already saw this. Passion. Very interesting. Passion. Hmm. Kyoko said, if I ever cut myself in anger, if there was blood in a piece I was working on, I should destroy it. She said it would attract lost souls and create a Zorigami, a possessed clock. Zorigami, Mordecai. Okay, we have we have some Mordecai, so. Am I talking to you through Mordecai's memories? Or am I just a figment of your imagination? This is so bizarre, I love it. Negligent. So, this is completed. No, I didn't use the phone that day. But you do frequently use the public phone booth Mr. Gray was called from. Yes, but not on that day. What are you trying to say, Detective? Is that uh, the voice of uh, what's his name from that other from from he was in Shapeshifting Detective, but he was also in the other um, FMV game. So maybe I have a page for each suspect on my notebook here. Frequently uses the phone, but not on that day. Rupert Booth, yeah. Um, What was his name? Um, this, an FMV game that I still have to play. <sighs> he's got, he's got a, a, a distinctive name in that one game. Okay. Okay. Best wheel through paintings when they're on the wall to save you uh, from opening the inventory. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, mouse wheel? Like you, oh, cool. Thank you. Okay, what do we want to? Who do we want to do next? Still looking for Merlehaven. Memories, just me just memories. That's that's unique. Let's just go with uh. Let's go with Sunday. Oh yeah, Merle Haven's right there. Okay. Merle Haven. Merle Haven. Let's go. Tourism is booming. Visit Merle Haven, the land of ghosts and fish. <laughs> Thing is, people are told the hills are dangerous. And they still go. 
hate picking up bodies from there. Oh, right. She's the, uh... Disagreement. She's the undertaker, right? I was in the phone booth, but I didn't make a call. What were you doing? I was putting up flyers. For what? You're the only undertaker on the island. For the meat business. We didn't find anything in the booth. Good. Means someone took it. She was in the phone booth putting up flyers for the meat business. another FMV game, yeah. Person walking through a door behind you in game or in your room? I don't know, Ren. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do Dominique Theater. I want to. Oh, do you want to try one thing though? Yeah, it's not going to do anything, right? What about memories with with him? Mordecai already knows who killed him, so if these are his memories, then he's just playing with you. Is it nice having someone manipulate you? An undertaker putting up beat flyers. <laughs> what do you what do you what are you saying, Penny? Yeah, let's go let's go with this guy, the ventriloquist. It was the royal box and, and Pitt made some joke about upskirting. That's illegal now. What? Invading people's privacy? No, making jokes. Okay. Negligent. The question is like, what is the value of asking more questions? And did the pips come back between nights? I, uh, I don't want to kill the mood or anything, but my manager says if this portrait makes me look stupid, she's going to sue. Daphne, she's hardcore. Doesn't want anything to, you know, affect my fame. Criminal. I got an injunction, so she Did you can't come in okay. feet. Happens a lot. Well, it's fans, you know, they get a bit like tunnel vision. You slept with her. Yeah, but some people just can't let it go. 15 times! It's not all her fault, but I mean, it does get to a certain point, and it's the only thing that you can do. He's a dick. Okay. So now we've got autos. I called a few fans, yeah. You didn't call Mordecai Gray. I lost his number a long time ago. How long were the calls? Not long. Usually a minute or so. They usually just want me to say something using his voice, you know. Did you call Gray? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I dialed 666-666. That's it, isn't it? That's actually quite close. I made a joke about calling. Gray. Six 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 six. Okay, 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 okay. Can I click on these again to see them? No. Okay. All right. Um, call. Let's follow up on that. Fans pay me to call them, or as a gift to others. 
They pay to hear me. Well, yeah, they usually want to hear his voice. I own you. I call from a public phone box, so they can't ring back. He's a professional stalker. So he's aware of that idea. Criminal. Disagreement. Cheerleader. I wonder why these ones are blacked out. So Marcy's want to be sober and, and generally I need a drink, you know, for my nerves. It was six drinks. No alcohol, no show. So they kicked us out. They didn't kick us out. I, just, I was just doing them a favor. Sure you were. And have a whiskey. Okay. Dead end, yeah, probably, eh? Oh, I can go in! Oh, I didn't notice this. It's her again. Oh, we can, can we talk, call the number? Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. Copy. No. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, it's like a game. the fart game. Shoot, was it five or four? Yeah. <laughs> I am the champion. <laughs> I wonder if what if we do it in reverse or see, see how this is mirrored? I wonder if you can get another one by mirroring it. Do, uh, oh, no, I can't do anything. I wonder what that did for me. Ah! Ah! So it's an escape room game as well. I see, I see. Cycle. So I think this gives us. We can recycle the two here for a single one and then put the single one in another one to get more out of them. Interesting. I like that we have to figure all this stuff out. Okay. Theater. Adam's a theater buff. He actually lives next door to the Baconian. He's playing Gerald in an Inspectacles. The one who cheats on his fiance. He very earnestly told me that it was just a play and I shouldn't worry. I like bacon. Does it change to the next one? No. I'm excited by the thought of my portrait hanging in the gallery. Who knows? It could be worth millions one day. I was on the cover of our West End musical, so I must have a pretty face. Call.
He always calls to wish me luck before a show. And then afterwards, he's waiting outside to walk me home. It's sweet. We usually go back to his place. It's in the theater district, so it takes longer, but I don't like staying at my flat. Too many memories. Okay. Criminal. This is Dominique. What were you doing in the theater district on the morning of the 31st of October? I had to pick some things up from Adams. So, Mr. Taylor can vouch for you? No, he wasn't there. He just left them outside. Did you use the payphone? Yes, but only to call a cab. My battery was dead. Called cab. My rating's so bad, guys. So bad. Theater. You know, I could get used to this. It's strangely therapeutic talking while you draw me. And I'm kind of hot. I'm just trying to make you blush. It's no fun when you don't play along. I think Blacko and, and Ren like her. Negligent. So there's one more. Oh, I have two more, right? Sunday and Professor Myers. Okay. Desire? I've stopped using the word criminal to describe people at the manor. They're all just patients to me, waiting to be nursed back to health. I like the way they look at me when they're fixed. <laughs> Fans. Why does it say fans in there? Curious, curious about that. If that means a good thing. Passion. Here you go, guys. The key is to be desirable, but just out of reach. I can tell it's working when they can't keep their eyes off me. Especially Leo. It's fun. Even Adam sneaks in sometimes, though he claims he doesn't. He thinks I don't notice. <laughs> Miss Moonstruck brings out a different side of me. She doesn't care if it's taboo. Miss she just does what feels good. Miss Moonstruck. Brings out a different side of her. What's the context? I don't know what you mean. Context for what? Fans again. Do we have a passion up? Passion. I have developed a 100% method of rehabilitation so that no future crimes are committed. It's called murder! And no... It's oh. not death. <laughs> hey, Mark. I have a desire to help people. Um, an artist named uh, 
Was it Mordecai Frost? Mordecai the murdered and we're trying to figure out. It was done by one of the people that they're making a portrait of. They received a phone call from the murderer the day of, or maybe it was the night before, and we're trying to figure out which one of them did it. You got it, Ren. Fame. Ah. So it, it defaults the one you just used. The Recreation and Rehabilitation Act 2017. The RRA. Also known as Mulhaven's Prison Act. That's my pride and joy. Bleko uh, and Ren, what was that uh, FMV game that you guys were always trying to get me to play with the bald detective guy? That I really should play sometime? I don't recall. Sorry. Have you ever used the phone box in the theater yeah. district? That's him, yes. right? On Halloween? I said I don't remember. Why? Did anyone see me? Asked if anyone saw. Pretty sus. Jenks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and uh, Devecki dropped his name. Let me, let me go back up here. Rupert Booth. I'll have to try to remember that. I don't recall. Sorry. Okay. Have you ever used the phone box in the theater district? Seth Sunday yes. left. On Halloween? I said I don't remember. Why? Did anyone see me? Oh, let's ask her negligent. Jason hadn't been fully rehabilitated. He needed more help. He escaped into the community, and <laughs> there isn't much more I'm allowed to say on the matter. There was a full investigation by the Justice Department that decided our security measures were appropriate. Dark Side of the Moon FMV game, too. Yeah, and he was also in Shape Shifting Detective. Theater. I did want to ask her about the theater. Inspector Calls is the next one, I think. I'm a Baconian, so I get free tickets to all the plays. Oh, I love bacon. I just need to pick them up. Can I be a Baconian? <laughs> Jason! He is really great, yeah. Probably someday I'll get around to playing that. The security camera we installed to protect the phone box in the theater district has itself been vandalized. I'd say it was the work of children, but they've been very oh. precise in their destruction. So she, her, her, um, the hospital or whatever is in the theater district. Interesting. And it was vandalized and no one saw her using the phone. I think she's my number one suspect. You wouldn't believe how many people actually think we've got made in Merlehaven stamped on the soles of our feet. <laughs> So wait, this is Sunday, but there's Sunday and Monday. Wait, let's... The other thing is, even if you're watching this, you could play it yourselves and you'll have a different outcome because it is randomized. Disagreement. Oh, perfect. Now it's two of them. 
Well, we never fight, do we? I always think that we were forced to spend so much time apart before we were born that we've been making up for it ever since. Now, do you think, th are these actually, I don't know if Debecky's still in here, are these actually twins or are they just the same actor being filmed twice? Call. We don't have mobile phones. Father says they scramble your brains. Well, I just don't want one. We have a phone at home and there's one in town. Did you know it's the only public phone box on the island? They got rid of all the rest. Wait. Oh, yeah, it was Sunday to be in there. They can't be the same actor. They're wearing different clothes. There's a kind of logic with what you're saying, Richie. It's a kind of logic. <laughs> You often visit the theatre district. We used to. We liked the deli. Did you go there on the morning of Halloween? No. You're sure? Yes, I was running a training camp for some local children. Where was this? At our house. We have a private court and Monday insisted we share it. Training ch children? But then was that with Monday? I gotta admit, she seems like the least suspicious. One actor, okay. Yeah, I, I, it's amazing that she's able to split herself into two people. What did we ask her? I'm worried about you. She fainted in the theater district the other day. I was fine. Everyone was super helpful. Yes, after they'd finished taking photos. It was just low blood sugar. I shouldn't have starved myself. I was saving room for Veroniki at Nora's Deli. It's my favorite. We go there all the time. What do I want to ask her about? Bands, criminal, gallery, name, desire, desire, fans. Fans is here. Passion. Bands? Oh, wait. I can't ask her about fans. I've stopped using the word criminal to describe people at the manor. They're all just patients to me, waiting to be nursed back to health. I like the way they look at me when they're fixed. Oh, oh, I already asked her about that. That's probably why we're replaying it. I see. But we don't have enough for the other ones. Do we just carry that frame around? Yeah. Well, passion's important, but do you know what else you need? Money. Preferably lots of it. We have private courts and can afford private coaches, so we're very lucky. But it's essential if we're going to be the best in the world. Hmm. We want to set up a training camp for young players to give them the same opportunities that we've had. Well, one day, yes, but right now we need to focus on winning tournaments. Number one in the world, remember? You wouldn't believe how many people actually think we've got made in Merlehaven's. Oh, we already heard that one. I'm 
worried about you. Heard that one. Okay. Okay. Do we move? Oh yeah, we've got the key to this, right? Sasha. Yes, very Mona Lisa. Yes, very Mona Lisa. A blue and green urn with a single tree. Uh, okay. Blue and green. More like a single three. Job. Oh, I could have done this. I am Xavier Hahn, Melhaven's only clockmaker. And much like my life, my oh. craft is a dying art. Maybe this means it's free to use. I have a side hustle in a company that creates lab-grown meat. Cows and vegans are equally destroying the planet, in my opinion. What I'm doing is different. That's what that means. It means it doesn't We're use up a pip. We're in London next week, uh, then Tokyo, and I... then New York. Drug dealer! Daphne takes care of all of it. Speak for yourself. All I have to do is turn up because I do all the work. I think she probably wanted to uh, have a different look. It's not just like the same. And Miss Moonstruck, enchanté. This would be the character that we should normally here. play, right? He owns the bar. I'm a classically trained ballerina. Never done burlesque before, but I like it. Costumes, choreographing the routines. It's not a bad way to pass the time until I can get out of here. This ventriloquist guy is great on me. Okay. Well, we spend 90% of our time training. This is obviously a lot easier now that we're no longer at school, but they used to give us time off for competitions. That didn't stop me getting straight A's though. It's all about how you apply yourself. I worked briefly for the Crown Prosecution Service in London. I thought it would be my dream job. But financial crimes were always given the strongest sentences, whilst crimes of the flesh were barely noticed. I still remember Miss Darcy's dream defense. Huh. Prosecution. Let me hear that again. I worked briefly for the Crown Prosecution Service in London. I thought it would be my dream job. But financial crimes were always given the strongest sentences, whilst crimes of the flesh were barely noticed. I still remember Miss Darcy's dream defense. Professor Myers is seeming like a top suspect here. Oh. So they, this one's not free. Maybe just that one's special because it's a... Uh, found like a, a secret. And that's where the key was. Okay.
Jenna owns marigolds in the theatre district. She does the best flowers. We're both dressing up for Halloween. She's going to be a sunflower, and I'm thinking... Great, heard that. I guess we move on? <laughs> well, he's back in his box. <laughs> nah, Pip's not a great cheerleader. We travel around a lot. Don't stay too long in any one place. <laughs> I mean, I get a lot of action, Mordecai, you know, from fans. <laughs> Must be the same for you, is it? The same for you? I've never seen anyone as fascinated by clocks as Kyoko. Her passion for it was contagious. <laughs> You're just curious what it looks like, aren't you? I'll bring it next time. Okay. Bands. Wait, we already heard all that. Um, I haven't been in here yet. What? Oh. Xavier Khan hardly finished anything he started. His mother hated him. His wife tried to kill him. And like a smitten schoolboy, <laughs> he fell in love with his teacher. Uh, okay, so this is all the, I think this is all the stuff we've collected about the job. Okay, okay, okay. These are the different aspects. So see how see how this job is highlighted? This is the secret one that we found. Huh. The surgeon. Portrait. Negligent. Dreams. Jealousy. Ignore. Blackmail. Greed. Steal. Desire. Oh, and this tells me which uh, night it's in, I think, right? Desire and negligent? Dear friend, if you found this, then the worst has already happened. Mordecai's killer has buried me here. I must have been close to catching them. Don't let them get you, Higgins. What are the name of the other games? There's the um, Dr. Decker. The, what was it? The murderous, the, the, the. The madness, the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. Oh, there, Tebeki's got you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Shoot, I already forgot what I was looking for. Probably should have gone in there before, huh? Eh? Let's let's just check them all out though before we go back. Oh, chapter one. Okay, a star is born. Fame and portrait gallery. If we get all of them, we get another. Another thing. Dominique, the burlesque ballerina. Whilst it seemed like everything was against her, I think we all know Dominique only had herself to blame. Oh, but criminals here. So it's the different aspects of their backstory. And these are the different nights that you can find them in. Okay, okay, I think I get it. 
Oh, we almost have uh, the full striking ambitions. Origin story. Sunday and Monday Finch, spoiled brats whose names were almost as pretentious as they were. They thought they were so perfect, but they were born with fatal flaws. So let's get, uh, let's try to get criminal. For Sunday and Monday. For Dominique, we want criminal. Fame. For the clockmaker, Xavier, Xavier. Negligent, Dire. Desire, Lilith. Lilith Rendell ate up everyone and everything that got in her way. If you knew her real secret, you'd be as good as dead. But on the bright side, she'd handle everything for you. Okay. Um, this is the doctor. Professor, sorry. Merle Haven. Gallery. And fans? Oh man, I wish I'd seen this before. <laughs> Vice Justice Catherine Myers, a narcissistic megalomaniac who thrives on controlling others. Like, fortunately, Mordecai managed to shake off her spell. But it's someone she couldn't control, so maybe she she killed Mordecai. Fame. So uh, this is Otto, right? Otto Pipistrel, a drunken womanizer who became increasingly jealous of the puppet he'd created. Who, um, a puppet that had outgrown its master. Who and narrates the summaries? Own strings. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't immediately come out to me which one of the Devecki crew. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold your horsies. What the hell? Oh, three. Oh, um, it's the, the H guy. What? Purification. Oh, I need to put, I need to put the urn, the, the thing on here. Let's tell people I'm your daughter. 
even though you're not a founding fisherman. What? I guess I can go back and watch these anytime. I don't necessarily have to take notes, right? Is that the girl in the uh, portrait? Yes, very Mona Lisa. Ah. Ah. The hotline. You've called the tips hotline. This is a premium rate service. To reveal one of the innocent suspects, please hang up, insert payment, and redial. Our tips aren't available on the internet. Have a nice day. <laughs> Higgins, there we go. Hang up, hang up. We got a back we got a backseater. I'm not okay. Yeah, okay, I'm not okay. What do you guys see? I see a heart. I see... A pulsating anus. It's this, yeah, Higgins, this guy here. Who said, um... They got close, but the killer might have taken them out. Hey, I saw an anus too, but was it pulsating? <laughs> Uh, I guess little girl will have a page for little girl. This would probably be easier in a digital format. If I alt tab out, do you guys you guys still see the game, eh? Okay, good. And you still hear it, so I could I could alt tab out and, and type notes. Of course. I thought anus too before you said it! We just have the highest quality viewers here on the Luckless Love Locks channel. <laughs> Devecki, what did you see? Was it pulsating anus? Uh, negligent and desire. I'd like to live a long and fruitful life. But I've inherited type 3 von Willebrands and type 2 diabetes from my mother. That's not a great combination. Nick my toe before bed and tomorrow you shall find me a grave man. Yeah, the devs have been here, uh... Lucko, Devecki. Am I pronouncing it right? They may have escaped when you kept saying caca. <laughs> I'd like to live a long and fruitful I did, life. I was... I'd like to live a long and fruitful life, but I've inherited type 3 von Willebrands and type 2 diabetes from my mother. That's not a great combination. Nick my toe before bed and tomorrow you shall find me a grave man. Should be back. Um, might need to refresh, although if you need to refresh, you're probably not hearing this. And hit the live button so you're caught up. Oh, Devecki, I was asking what you see. What do, what do you see when uh, you look at this? Okay. And then that was desire and negligent. Oh, blood won't clot. A Decker patient. Oh. I was thinking pulsating anus, but most of us saw a pulsating anus. <laughs> I can't find a desire yet, so we're going to need to. It's very subjective. <laughs> we got a lot of assholes in the chat, I guess. Okay, um, got neg we got desire, right? 
Desire with Lilith. Desire and Fame. Auto. Oh no, I can't! That's too bad. Criminal. Yes. We've had some trouble at the lounge. Things going missing, you know. Watches, wallets. We are putting in some cameras, but hopefully it's nothing. I'd rather Justice Hoon didn't watch the videos. He has strict rules on decency, and I'm often very indecent. Early. Professor Myers. Damn it! We'll have another opportunity. Damn it. Can't, I can't fill any of these. Okay, I have to pay attention to that next time. I think, I think we might be done this night. Criminal? Sunday and Monday? Ah. Ah! Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't suck any of the eyes out of those ones either. Okay, I think, I think we're done. This night. Yeah. Glad to hear you survived. I'm not worried about intruders. It's the boredom that'll kill you. Three nights on, four nights off. Just two more to do and then you're done. Unless you're stuck in a time loop, playing the same three days over and over again. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? Oh, there's some eyes. Day two. Thanks for putting all those paintings out for me yesterday. Just two more days to go. Take care. Welcome to Gallery Argenta. Ah, she's back. I'm Jamie, your jovial art museum information educator. Push my buttons and see how I respond. <laughs> it wasn't funny, so I guess she doesn't know how to kid. Was it? I assume these are all going to be the same, but let's try. Better known as her alter ego, Miss Moonstruck, talented dancer Dominique Serrant regularly performs her bewitching blend of ballet and burlesque at the Moonstruck Lounge. At one time set for stardom on the West End stage, Dominique's path took an unexpected turn due to a tragic death in the family, but London's loss soon became Merle Haven's gain. Or are those the same? I don't remember. <laughs> As the last remaining funeral director on the island, 
Lilith Rendell ferries Merlehaven's souls to their final destination. Yeah. Angel to the bereaved, she comforts those left behind whilst pioneering carbon neutral cremation. Yeah, it's the same it's the same thing. Hey Kim. Sander Cohen. Oh, that's a Bioshock. Bioshock reference, right? Took me a second. I'm a little disappointed I haven't got the chance to shoot anyone yet, though. <laughs> no, I, I love that there's no shooting. There's so many games that just... have shooting in them. The fabled Great Orc was originally thought to be extinct when the last specimens were killed in 1844 on Eldi, off the coast of Iceland. But they reappeared in 1953, along with Merlehaven itself. Sadly, for the remaining orc, they were hunted to extinction again by the crab fishermen who oh, settled here. I actually have a funny story you say, Ren, you say how very American. So I had this one video, uh, shapeshifting detective video, mind you, that keeps getting like it's like one of my top videos because people keep it keeps popping up on people's searches for reptilian shapeshifters caught live on camera or something like that. And people watch it for like, like five seconds. And they're like, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> and someone, what was the comment that someone left? I got to find this comment. Uh, one second. Cause it's really, it's really funny. It's, it's really funny at how, how dumb it is. Just, just scrolling, 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 I'm scrolling, scrolling. Uh, I hope I could find it. Uh, now I've set it up. Okay, I'll go to the video. Uh, Miss Nollerby said, why you fucking American assholes waste people's time? F O four B seven L shit exclamation mark caps stupid kid exclamation mark caps. <laughs> I read that and I was like, my response was what? <laughs> I guess it's because they're expecting to see reptilian shapeshifters caught on camera. But I'm not, first of all, I'm clearly not a kid. I'm not American. <laughs> I don't think I'm an asshole. <laughs> Someone actually took the time to write that. <laughs> they told me. <laughs> the Tornado del Luna is Gray's depiction of a freak tornado that occurred in 1969, just after Apollo 11 touched down on the moon. The more superstitious inhabitants of Merl Haven thought it was a sign from Mother Earth that man should not be permitted to destroy the moon as it had her. It's like, yeah, it's like they really know me. <laughs> That's probably it. Abernathy's Bluff is the most inhospitable rock face on the island, luring countless mountaineers to their death every year. Whilst potentially deadly for the people that take part in the sport, it's supplied millions of pounds worth of revenue to Merle Haven in tourism. I'm an asshole connoisseur. I know an asshole when I see one. Well, that's the mines for her. Now a spectacle for tourists, 
Merlehaven's coal mines were operational for over two decades before being shut down. Mallow coal is exclusive to Merlehaven, a type of coal that is spongy to the touch and burns brighter and longer than hard coal. However, the life expectancy of a Mallow coal miner was around two years, and because of this, mining was made illegal in 1975. What if we don't do our job and we don't put the paintings up? Curling trees against the blue red sunset. The forest? Is there the docks? This one cordoned off. like undulating hills doesn't look like the docks oh a dig of purple waters engulfing fishing boats the docks Merlehaven is still a major fishing venue and its shores offer plentiful supplies enough to keep the whole island fed for years. The docks pictured here are built on the very same site the original settlers landed. Canada isn't even real. What? Why do people keep saying that? <laughs> no, no, not the lighthouse. I'm real. Oh. Well, I guess I opened these before too. Sasha. Oh, it says don't take the uh, works of art home, so I don't think I can. Oh, I missed this one. Gray's painting of the Aurora Woods is often compared to Edvard Munch's The I thought you were from Texas, Lydra. Or you lived there for a bit? But Merlehaven residents have noticed another pattern. For them, the Aurora Woods is sister to the undulating hills. Ah. And they do share physical borders. Uh, Kim was saying where you are in Canada, I believe, puts you on the border with the U.S.? No. Not on the border. Okay. Miss Argenta just called me to ask for one of the grey portraits. Just pick any one of the six and leave it in reception. It's going away to be tested for authenticity, whatever that means. I think they all look hideous, so they're probably <laughs> authentic. Oh. Am I choose supposed to be choosing someone that we think is innocent? Welcome to Gallery Argenta. I'm Jamie, your jovial art museum information educator. Push my buttons and see how I respond. Hmm. Oh yeah, small land. I, I, I saw that. It looked interesting. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, grounded. I'd like to try it at some point. Also, that'd be a fun um, group stream to do. Maybe on a Saturday. <laughs> 
like to do those group streams on a Saturday. I'm pretty, sh I'm feeling pretty confident Sunday and Monday are good. They were the one of the, one of the few that had kind of an alibi for the phone call. But maybe I'm supposed to. I guess if they discover it's inauthentic, then it can't be them that's the killer. Joseph, thank you for being a full time level for eight months. I'll start Yakuza soon. I'm restarting uh, Breath of the Wild on Friday. See how that goes. Maybe Yakuza the weekend sometime. Yeah, we'll start. I know, I know you're not. You can you can wait a little bit longer. You're not too concerned. What do you guys think? Sunday and Monday? Who do you think still? I think we're supposed to pick someone who's not guilty. How do I know? I'm going to. Oh, I can't put it back. Oh. Oh, I could just take all of them. Hey, Red Rain. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Joseph, how's the how's the wedding preps going? Also, Red Rain, how are you doing? What's new? I guess I'll just take all of them. Yeah, it's, it seems like you're busy. You haven't even had time to throw up the night shift lately. Uh, where do I where do I put this? More rain. Uh oh. I'm a bit disappointed you didn't leave a portrait out for me. <laughs> Perhaps you forgot? I've picked one anyway. I hope it wasn't your favorite. Maybe you can help me out next time? Okay. Fuck! I didn't know where to put it. Wait, night. What happened to night two? Did I skip night two? They occupy me with their stories, but it's the police interviews that will help me solve this murder. Three questions all in order, then touch their names. Maybe that was night two finding the portrait together. Just need to hang each painting once and then I can escape this dream. But should I? I, I don't, I, I, I don't know what happened. I didn't, I couldn't see where to hang it. Something has Changed. Oh, this is the same one. Color ID again. It was a cold and frosty morning on the 31st of October when Gray received a solitary telephone call that police traced back to a public phone box in the theatre district. The call lasted for 44 seconds and appeared to be from one of Gray's portrait subjects. During the forensic sweep of his loft that night, police found a note in Gray's handwriting that read, Unhappy. Destroy portrait. Meet at lockup. 4 p.m. The dev just lost $20 to Odd? What? Do they think the killer made the call? What did I do wrong? 
concealing themselves, waiting for their prey to return. These are all the same. Oh, no. No, they're not. Okay. This is different. Something's different. Ah, okay, okay. Trace evidence. In many murder cases, the killer inadvertently leaves microscopic evidence at the crime scene that is later used to apprehend them. The murder of Mordecai Gray was no exception. That Halloween, a forensics expert pulled hemp fibers from the soft furnishings and wooden floor of Mordecai's loft. They were presumed to have been left by the killer, and although their precise movements could not be tracked, the freshness of the hemp fibers meant they'd been deposited recently. Forensics tracked those fibers down to one place, and one place alone. Mernhaven's Butterfly Sanctuary. But what did it mean? Based on the decomposition of the trace evidence found, forensics believed that Gray's murderer had visited the Butterfly Sanctuary just a day or two before their deadly deed. Um, oh, now we only have five. One, two, three, four, five. Because one was removed. Shit. So I can't find out information about a particular suspect. Who did they take? Oh, they took Aislinn. Lilith. She was in the phone booth. Shoot. Definitely possibly a suspect. Uh, okay, that's fine though. We will just have to deal with that. I'm going to go over to this other room and see what I need to find in Gallery 2, or Exhibition 2. Hey Sigma, what's up? Let me take a second to thank Debecky for the game to play with all of you. Um also, please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying uh, enjoying the stream and my stuff here. And if you guys are really enjoying my stuff, think about becoming a member, only if you can afford it, though. Or leaving uh, a super chat or super thank you or a tip to uh, help me out. Okay. So we got favor. favor. Oh, thanks, friend. Got. I wonder if I can go back and do the ones that I missed. Now that they're reset, probably. Eh? Opportunity. Alibi. Why is it H favor? No, it's it's two. It's a two. Divination. Means. Opportunity. God, I love these games so much. I love I love being a detective. What is this? Motive. Supernatural. Plus the other ones I have to get. Oh man, I sucked so hard in Wall World. <laughs> Actually, I'm kicking ass in that game. I, I did finish it the other night, so I think there's... I think the videos go to Sunday. Really fun game. 
Hey, Joseph, thank you. Thank you for gifting five memberships. Bart got one, Glotzi got one, Bearsley, Peregrine, and two. Thank, thanks to Joseph. Alibi. I'll write them down even though I don't have Lilith here. Opportunity. Divination. Motive. Cadaver. Oh. I wonder if these are kind of supposed to be tips, though. Like, are you just supposed to play and find these as you go? Oh, we already went this way. Auto. Help. Alibi. Opportunity. Oh, by the way, I think you have to, don't you have to like opt into those gift things? If you want to get one? I don't, I can't remember how you do it. Divination. Favor. That's a lot of stuff. Nice that they spelled favor properly. Oh, that's it for her. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's some way to allow gifts. Watch all this, sorry. Gonna disappear in the night? Okay, thank you so much. Yes, I've got this. 100%. Thank you so much. Awesome game. I always look forward to your releases. And thanks for supporting the channel as well. So can I do the ones that I missed? I can. Let's let's do uh, gallery two, though. Or exhibition two. And then we'll go back. We've got some extra eyes. Wait, undulating hills. Great. Motive. Ah, uh, it's a memory game. Shoot, which one was it? Is it left or right, guys? I think it was one of these two, wasn't it? I think it was left. No! That's okay, I still got it. You were right, it was the one on the right. We still got it though. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yes. 
<laughs> Joy this key. Look at these little boxes. I have an amazing memory. Oh, yeah, Chaos Stores tomorrow, eh? That's exciting. There's uh, actually a few games coming out tomorrow that I'm excited for. Let's see. Let's see here. I am, in fact, checking my phone now because I want to see which games are coming out tomorrow that I'm interested in. There is Shard Punk. Verminfall, Trinity Fusion, and the Vampire Survivors DLC! Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. We do not have Lilith. I'm gonna start with my number one suspect, Professor Myers. Alibi, Insects, and Favor. I can literally get away with murder. <laughs> Mohaven's police department is run by myself and Justice Who. So you have no alibi. <laughs> Runs the police department. What? <laughs> Insects and favor. I was at the sanctuary a few months ago. They asked for permission to use a specific pesticide that kills spiders. They're eating all the butterflies, apparently. Okay. A few months ago. favor how do you guys like the um the way that you find out discover information it's cool because it allows them to integrate like all these puzzles into it but also, you have to, like, walk around a lot. Any legislation needs my approval first, then Mayor Garcia. Finally, Justice Hoon stamps it into law. I can get anything done in a day, though. Why? What were you thinking of? <laughs> she's, okay, She's she seems too guilty, though. Doesn't she? So favor we we discovered. That was the only one we needed for her. So we could suck the eyes out of her or someone else. Or we can do um go back to level 1. I've been in and out over the past few weeks. They're appealing our permit decision. When was last time? Day before Halloween? Whenever I turn up, they just make a big song and dance about having to clear up so many butterfly corpses. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> I forgot. I say so many terrible things that uh, I forgot what I said. Oh, suck out the eyes. Ah. Let's do this at the end. Seems like a good way to cap things off. Um, Merle Haven. Oh, 
Have you forgotten already? Millhaven Manor is not just my family penitentiary. It's a beacon of hope for people who have fallen on harder times, who want to be their best selves. Surely you're kidding, Mordy. Okay. Maybe he wanted to stay there? I wrote something down, but I can't read it at all. Look at these. Look at these. Are good scripts? I think it says calorie. Argenta is a complete gem, isn't she? The Argentas and the Myers have been family friends for decades. They took me in after my parents were gone and paid for my tuition in London. And the last thing was fans, but I could have sworn we talked to her about that. Or, oh, oh, maybe it was fame. There are a lot of journalists wanting to see what goes on at the manor. We've become famous. I'm arranging several open days. Perhaps you could come, Mordy, to say a few words? I think he committed a crime of the flesh and she felt like she had to murder him because he was going to get off easy. Hey, Ram DC, welcome. Sucking eyeballs is a second date thing. Yikes. Okay, we're 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 done with her. Maybe we can suck some eyeballs out. Let's see. Where's the suck table? There it is. No. It's all eyeballed out. Let's go with uh, Xavier. Wait, did I listen to this? I've been in and out. Oh yeah, we did, okay. You can stop it too by selecting it again, that's great. That's a little thing, it's a little thing they didn't have to do. Um. Favor. Ah, number two's favor anyways. So number one, opportunity, favor, supernatural. Do I have to do it in a specific order? Probably not, eh? Zorigame. Uh, that tiny needle is intentional. It lets the evil spirits in and out. That's what the safety cover is for. Okay. Alibi. Shoot, what were the other ones? <laughs> Opportun no, see, it didn't it didn't do favor. No no no. I picked the wrong one. It's fortuitous I live nearby, but Melhaven only has a thousand inhabitants, so everybody is pretty close, geographically speaking. Favor. No favor. Shoot. Okay, we gotta do someone else's. Divination? Divination. 
combination with Sunday and Monday. Monday dragged me to a palm reader in Argentina. This woman told us we'd be number one doubles champions within the year, though so far she's a position off. But then again, she also said our palms were different, so maybe she's not as good as she thought she was. Opportunity. Means we don't have Lilith. Insects or Moto. Oh, Motive. Okay, who who needed Motive? This is hard to keep track of. Dominique with Motive. Life's too short to hold back. If I see something I want, I'm taking it. Okay. Yeah, brand accounts can't receive gift memberships. I don't know why. I don't really understand the brand account either. It's... I guess it was something that you could create before you could change your, your, your like, name wasn't totally associated with your Gmail account or something. Well, that wasn't very interesting. Means. Don't have Un Oh, Undulating Hills, I think, was available. Where did I... Where did I see Undulating Hills? Maybe it's changed. There it is. Um, with Dominique again. I don't believe what they say on thermodynamics. Nothing on Merlhaven is natural. It's the same with the mines. Dad used to say he'd heard scratching noises down there. Not rats. Something else. Oh, I love that the town is natural. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Is it uh, pineapple? Oh, what did it change to? Favor. Okay, we definitely have favor here. It kind of, it's designed kind of to, so you can't just like follow one person's. It, it gets all jumbled in your head. Would you mind awfully if I borrowed one of your whiskey glasses? Uh, no, 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 don't trouble yourself. Uh, I'll just take the one on the side. Remember, these are I'll memories. Bring it back next time we meet. These are memories of Mordecai, the artist, the one that was murdered. Metamorphosis. Help. Dominique, help. As an investment in the arts, you're sponsoring a future star. The first award I win, I'll be sure to thank you. So she doesn't have a real good reason to kill him if uh, he's like patronizing her, right? Arugula, rocket, salad. Scum what's scamorza? shrimp okay we've got Dominique's we did when was the last time you visited the butterfly sanctuary a few weeks ago that was where Adam proposed did you go there on Halloween no it's not a sanctuary anymore 
just another reminder of how I screwed things up. Post to Adam didn't go back. I'm once again. I'm not looking at my phone. I'm writing notes. Man, that really pissed me off. This person like commented uh, like, "This is everything that's wrong about streamers. They're looking at their phone all the time and and not paying attention." I'm like, "I'm. I was writing notes. <laughs> not looking at my phone." Hey, hot, what's up? Type of cheese, ah, a bit smoky. Mmm, that sounds good. If this is what your penis looks like, please see the doctor. Oh, it's basically Italians trying to imitate superior French cheeses. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they do copy a lot of stuff. <laughs> nah, they don't have very original cooking. Oh, Supernatural. Okay, there we go. This is wash. You gotta lighten up a bit, Blecko. It's just food. Xavier. Xavier? Can't remember how they pronounce it. I would pronounce that as Xavier or Xavier. The Zorigame. Uh, that tiny needle is intentional. Wait, I already. It lets the evil spirits in and out. That's what the safety cover is for. I already did this. Oh, but I did it. I did it in the wrong order, I guess, right? I'm a patron and I had to deliver some paperwork. So you were at the Butterfly Park on Halloween? Yes, along with half of Merlhaven. I think that's all we need. What does that mean? So, well, let me listen to that again. I'm a patron and I had to deliver some paperwork. So you were at the Butterfly Park on Halloween? Yes, along with half of Merlhaven. I think that's all we need. What does that mean? So, previously, Xavier, he said he frequently uses the phone, but not on that day. And deliver paperwork to Butterfly Park on Halloween. Possibly. I, still so far, though, it's uh, Professor Myers, my number one suspect. But it sounds like he's number two. Could be Lilith, too. But unfortunately, we missed an opportunity with Lilith here. So we need insects with Otto and Sunday. I don't remember seeing insects available, though, but I guess we can choose something else. And, uh, hopefully one will change to insects. Magic. Okay. So we'll pick one of the other ones. I am interested in... No. Professor Meyer. We already completed Professor Myers. Opportunity and alibi for Dominique. There we go. I called Adam to say I was running late. He didn't even question it. And then afterwards, he was waiting outside like he always does. Leo even apologized for keeping me. It must have been so obvious. So either Adam's stupid or he doesn't care as much as I thought he did. Hear that again. I called Adam to say I was running late. He didn't even question it. And then afterwards, he was waiting outside like he always does. 
Leo even apologised for keeping me. It must have been so obvious. So either Adam's stupid, or he doesn't care as much as I thought he did. Okay. Motive. Is there any metamorphosis ones? Oh, there is. Ah, oh, no, I don't have Lilith. So much hatred in you, Blacko. Let go of the hatred. Go. Oh, that's very kind of you. Please thank Mr. Hahn for me as well. I'm sure Monday will love it. I don't for a second believe a clock can cure her, but I have to humor her. She gets upset if she thinks I'm making fun. Do I have to pay for it? Motive. Okay, that was one of the extra ones to get for her. Honestly, like, I have to find a bunch for her. Insects versus and means. Did we get means? Okay, we got means. We got means. We got means. That was for no Lilith. Shit. <laughs> means was for them also. But I, I don't want to waste their pips on random things. Well, they split the embryo cells in half at a really early stage, so you get two for the price of one. Uh, it's basically how twins develop anyway, except in our case, the embryos were implanted into two different mothers. Apparently they do it all the time with cattle but we were the first humans. It's really not a big deal. Okay. Insects! Yes, that's what we needed. For... Sunday again. Okay. Well, mother and father specialize in humans, not insects. But the director of the sanctuary is a friend, and he helped them get some funding for their study. You can't really be that choosy on an island of this size when it comes to recruiting geneticists. Okay. Help, help was one of them too, right? Oh, okay, good, 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 good. We're completing Sunday and Mondays. She's completely into the Mexico thing. She's been courtside in a wheelchair telling me how to improve. Well, she's been barking orders and bashing my serve, but you know what I mean. I actually think it might be helping. Supernatural. Okay, let's let's get her completed one. Do you ever visit the butterfly sanctuary? My parents were working there. Not anymore though. We think the murderer visited the sanctuary Don't sometime tell them that. in the days leading up to Mordecai Gray's murder. We He's found gonna lie. fibers at the scene. Well, as I said, my parents worked there, so there was probably some cross-contamination. But you used to work there, right? Not working there now, and they're fresh. Do you ever visit the butterfly sanctuary? My parents were working there. Not anymore, though. Oh. We um. think the murderer visited the sanctuary sometime in the days leading up to Mordecai Gray's murder. We found fibers at the scene. Well, as I said, my parents worked there, so there was probably some cross-contamination. Cross-contamination from parents working there. 
I feel like if she was the killer, she'd make up a story, right? She didn't answer if she visited or not. That's true. Do you ever visit the butterfly sanctuary? My parents were working there. Not anymore, though. We think the murderer visited the sanctuary sometime in the days leading up to Mordecai Gray's murder. We found fibers at the scene. Well, as I said, my parents worked there, so there was probably some cross-contamination. Hmm. Hmm. Beans. Well, they split the embryo cells in half. I already at a got really this. Early stage, so you get two. She's completely into the Mexico thing. Oh, we got this She's too. Courtside in a wheelchair, telling me how to improve. Divination and opportunity. We need insects again. Opportunity. There's a tournament in Mexico next month, but I'm free as a bird at the moment. Monday doesn't think she'll be fit enough, so she's encouraged me to sign up for singles. But I don't think she'd ever forgive me if I won. Huh. So it's not about the two of them, it's it's just about the one. Magic. Okay, supernatural. Is that yeah. Oh no, I'm out. I'm out of eyes. Um shoot. Okay. Insect, alibi, it's it's all about auto now. Insect, alibi, and motive. Um Let me just check let me try this again. Does it have to be in that order? We kissed, her and I. I don't know her name, but we kissed in the butterfly park. She doesn't speak, and then after the kiss, she just ran. And and I started to chase after her, and then I thought, no, 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 I should be more respectful. You know, if, if that's what she wants to do, then I should let her go. Kiss at the butterfly park. That's fine to do because we can go back to motive because we've already seen it. Tricky. I can't read my own writing, guys. Sex magic. Or natural. Oh, these are all wrong. None of them require metamorphosis. Probably just set up that way, eh? I have to waste one.
Are you guys at all confused about what's happening here? <laughs> it seems like I can see this being very confusing about what I'm doing. <laughs> well, I know you're confused, Mark. I, I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> I'll try to explain it. So in order to get the like top clue, which is like the thing that we're looking for, we have to put this, the image of Otto, the painting, on insects, alibi, and then motive. But insects does not appear on any of these. Basically the subject that we want to talk to them about. See, no insects. So, in order to change them though, we have to find a fresh topic to talk about. And in the another room, it shows you what topics complete their sub stories. So I need to find a new topic to talk to them about that matches one of those sub story topics that isn't the main clue topic. That's what I'm trying to do. And I have those written down for everyone. That's why I keep looking down at, at them. But there's also no, no subtopics to talk to them about. So I have to like waste, and I can only talk to them for a certain number of things, three in this case. So I have to like talk to them about something useless. I guess Dominique's okay. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll do Dominique. I spent a lot of time at the sanctuary after my dad died. I actually got a tattoo of a cocoon on my stomach. Okay. Butterfly felt too upbeat, you know. But she had an alibi. We're all just works in progress. She called Adam saying she was running late. I guess it's not a great alibi, though. See, here we go. Now this placard's changing to divination. So if I go up and check here, divination isn't what I'm looking for. We're looking for insects. And then if I look at my... Divination is on my list for auto for the secondary stuff. But I don't want to waste my three dots. One of my three dots on that. I don't know if there's an order too to these as well. Like maybe, maybe I'm assuming that it switches to a random thing, but maybe there's an order to it. Oh, right. This is auto. We have a uh, one, two, three, four, five. On, so let's do divination on auto. I, I, I confuse the two. She's scared of Pip. I can't tell him, but I thought it'd be our second kiss, and, and just as our lips were about to touch, she kind of recoiled, and she'd seen Pip in the box behind me. I mean, I know some people will get freaked out by puppets, but not her. She kind of made some religious cross motion, and she fled, like Pip was the devil or something. It's a more complicated game than it seems on the surface. Opportunity. That's another one we can do with them. And I still have four eyes. We're looking into the memories of the person that was killed, the artist that painted these portraits. So these are the memories, the eyes of the portrait painter. That, uh, that stuff with Layla, it's it's made me a pariah, so Pip gets all the offers nowadays. Yeah, I kill less people. I'm not really in the right headspace to perform anyway. Yeah, he's sober. I'm a bit miffed they didn't want me to do the voice though. Yeah, me too, pal. All 
Magic. Shoot. It's not one of the ones that I need. So we can use uh, Xavier for some of these. Blood magic is illegal on Melhaven, as is all divination. So if that's what you're doing, you need to stop. Oh, and also, just stop. Why would you do that? You might need some kind of help, Mordecai. He's using blood magic? No! <laughs> you say the hills changed you, but in a good way? I've dealt with patients who have been to the undulating hills. It cooks them, turns their insides hard. Favor. No, <laughs> I need insect. Undulating Hills is right off the bucket list. Did you want to go there? <laughs> uh, okay. Cherry tried out for the lead role that I ended up getting. She could have kept this one for herself, but she persuaded them to let me audition. It's kind, right? She's a good person. But I'm still glad I beat her. See, I'm a snake. Kind of annoying. I can't get to insects. Should I be using a different one? I don't... I spent a lot of time at the sanctuary after my dad died. I actually got a tattoo of a cocoon on my stomach. Butterfly felt too upbeat, you know. We're all just works in progress. She has a forked tongue? What are you talking about? Okay. That reminds me of Nancy from the play. The only thing they found in that grandfather clock was a butterfly. A butterfly. Did Nancy really change into something else? I sometimes go to the butterfly sanctuary to calm my nerves. And I wonder if any of the butterflies are Nancy. What is happening? Oh my god. Maybe, maybe it just rotates between a, a certain set. I've been stuck in Merlehaven of late. No work offers abroad. No work offers at all, really. I'm begging Marcy's for a spot, but they're not interested. They did talk about Pip performing, but with someone else. Christ. That's how far I've fallen. <laughs> Insects! Okay, maybe we could still do it. That would be so awful. Having your... Um, doll, like your ventriloquist doll, become a star and everyone hating you and not wanting to book you. 
Oh man. I did a charity gig for the park, but I did not expect the butterflies to gang up on Pip. I liked it. I, they swarmed him and, and turned him into one giant butterfly. It was consensual. Okay. Is help? Is that the last one? I think we're out of... Uh, we might be out of... Oh my god! Oh, oh yeah, alibi, 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 alibi. Is it alibi... No. Shit. No alibi. Okay, well. I didn't give her any drugs. She just... Just intentionally OD'd. I was off my face, as per usual. But I did call for an ambulance, but she was dead when they arrived. I've been in rehab. I'm cutting out the drink for good this time. So I, I, I won't be able to get the, uh, the final autos thing. Okay, but there's still this. Miss Argent did, did fire Higgins, then agreed to accept his resignation for his CV. On his last night, he started smashing through the corridors, looking for these hidden rooms that he expected to find. Mainly, he just found the grass outside. It caused a lot of damage. So this is eight. I initially thought my exhaustion was brucellosis from hunting boar in the Algiers. But it's genetic, more like <laughs> Von Willebrand's disease. You mentioned this before. Sounds like I'm some kind of promiscuous playboy, doesn't it? Oh, right. Kim Park. She's spreading lies about the manor, saying we're torturing inmates, starving them. Nobody reads her little paper anyway, but it's harmful nonetheless. Maybe it's something that medicine can't fix. Maybe she's just broken, like buttons. But Monday's a survivor. I'm not worried. Who's Buttons? It's the first time we heard Buttons. Maybe the problem is I'm still grieving. I lost my dad and my career all in one hit. I never really dealt with it. It feels like there's this black pit in my stomach. And it's eating me from the inside out. I've got this insatiable hunger all the time got to get away from this place tell me about the hunger Layla Layla was a fan um, we slept together for a while until she got pregnant I, I mean I, I probably would have stopped either way <laughs> the the kid um, didn't make it These people have issues. Some serious issues here. Okay, let's um I bet you we're going to be going down that hallway next. Let's put this urn down. So these are the different sub-stories. So for uh, uh, Xavier, we've got the devil. So we had to find favor. There's the mother. 
the surgeon. That's that stuff that I was telling you about, like the sub things that we need to find. Uh, see, we missed opportunity for her, so we don't get the full Miss Moonstruck story. I wonder if this is, um... Oh, here we go. We, we completed one Sunday. I wonder if this sticks from one playthrough to the next. Boosted by private lessons from world-class coaches and a genuine love of tennis, Sunday and Monday's natural talent quickly shone through. The twins dominated in every tournament, quickly rising up the ranks against older and more experienced players. We didn't complete any other ones, I don't think. Really close on uh, dr Drunken Ventriloquy. We just needed the alibi on that one. Sadness. Couldn't get it. An opportunity for this one. Okay, we got eight. the eighth. Like, what kind of order are these in? That's not eight. <laughs> wait, wait a second. That's thirteen. Catherine. Catherine is lost. She has become evil. Although, there is something I want from her. What the hell, man? I love that there's more going on here. These must be from multiple playthroughs. Because I think there's only th was there only three nights? And these are different other different things. Higgins. I'm not okay. Gallery Argenta, more sub stories. I don't know who that is, Morgan. We, we... Guess as good as mine right now. Oh. Yeah, there's one more night. Creepy. Ghost the victim? No, the victim is the Chin up. Uh, painter. Chin up. they left. Keep an extra eye out tonight, though. Adult man. They're looking into Mordecai's murder case again. New evidence, apparently. Which means his paintings are going to be the talk of the town and top of any local art burglar's hit list. There's a gun in the drawer, if you need. Just kidding. Call the police. Catch you later. Day three. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here because uh, I've got some things to do. And uh, we'll pick this up uh, another day. I guess finish off our first run of this. Who's your number one suspect? I still think it's uh, Professor Myers. Number one. Hmm. Really can't uh, rule out Xavier or Lilith. Or Otto. You didn't get Otto's thing, eh? I feel like Sunday and Monday... Well, they, they're... Their, their answer for the uh, Butterfly Sanctuary wasn't great either. I still don't know. Rusolis and Von Will disease wouldn't be mistaken for one another. Ah. Uh. 
Maybe it's me. I didn't do anything. Why? Why? What makes you think it's me? Maybe you did it. <laughs> All right. Um, I assume it saves my progress. Oh, did it show the seed for the game? Oh yeah. So if you guys want to play the same game as me, you could just put this seed in. Don't tell me the answer. So you can put in a seed here. That's really cool. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Joseph, for gifting five memberships. Victor, subscribe. Um, also, Ron. Um, man, a bunch of subscribers. Noah. And also, Joseph, thank you for being a member, full-time lover member for eight months. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming in the evening. Um, I'm going to be streaming a game called... Raven's Watch in the evening. With someone else. And then on Friday, Breath of the Wild returns to the channel, and then we'll take it from there. Yes. Use my seed! <laughs> Inject my seed into the murderous muses. Alright, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. And I love you all. Bye.